Welcome back. In our last episode, we walked through how to set a budget. Turns out, location can have a huge impact on how much you and your guests will spend. So let's talk about where in the world you should host your wedding. I'm Lanye Perrine, and I'm here to help you pick your dream location for your big day. Choosing a wedding location, not your venue, I'll get to that in a later video, is a super important step. Once you know where your wedding will take place, you can find your wedding style, start looking for venues, vendors, create your wedding website, and more. You basically have four options. The city where you or your partner grew up, the city where you and your partner currently live, a nearby vacation destination that's driving distance from your hometown or city of residence, and a faraway destination, one that will require a flight. According to data from The Knot, about 20% of couples host a destination wedding. Only 17% would consider their location to be tropical, and just 9% said it was held in a foreign country. Mexico and the Caribbean are the most popular international wedding locations. The vast majority of destination weddings actually take place here in the U.S. The idea of the domestination wedding, a destination wedding within the U.S., is definitely trending right now for a few reasons. They're usually easier to plan, easier for guests to attend, and it's easier for couples to get a marriage license domestically. With so many epic venues in the U.S. to choose from, you're bound to find your dream wedding location, whether it's a vacation spot you've loved since you were a kid or a city you've always wanted to visit. We wanted an island destination wedding, but my grandfather has a fear of flying, so we switched to having it in the city of Philadelphia. My husband was born and raised there and we have a lot of family and friends in Pennsylvania. Plus, I'm from Delaware, so it worked out. <laughs> There's also a lot of great info on different wedding destinations on The Knot, so check out the link below to get inspired. Just so you know, destination weddings may cost more than hometown weddings. According to our data, the average hometown wedding ceremony and reception costs about 28,000, where a domestic destination wedding costs about 33,000, and an international destination wedding about 30,000. Obviously, the cost of travel and accommodations play a role here, both for you and your guests. And destination weddings tend to last longer and include more events, such as welcome dinners, group excursions, brunches, and much more. Speaking of guests, destination weddings tend to be smaller than hometown weddings. So if you want a smaller wedding anyway, this may appeal to you. But if you want a huge wedding with all of your loved ones present, a hometown wedding might be a better option. Fewer guests may be able to attend a destination wedding, but those that can make it will love an excuse to take a vacation. And a destination wedding is definitely a unique experience for everyone. While guests will likely spend more to attend a destination wedding, there are things you can do to help them cut costs. For example, setting a wedding date that's not during peak travel season and booking a room block at a local hotel means savings and discounts for guests. And here's some expert advice. Whether you're planning a hometown or destination wedding, especially a destination wedding, it's a good idea to hire a wedding planner early on in the process. If you're planning your big day from afar, having a planner based in your wedding location can be really helpful in connecting you with the best local vendors and handling any issues that may arise. Seriously, hiring a wedding planner may be the best decision you'll make. And if you're ready to start your search for your coordinator, head to the Knott's vendor directory link below, which has online reviews of thousands of planners in every wedding destination. So now you've chosen your wedding location, but you're just getting started on your planning adventure. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Ready to learn more? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. On the next episode, I'll simplify one of the most time-consuming wedding planning steps, creating a guest list. See you soon.